All right, we're here with my brother Brandon. Um, he has not been in the Fiesta ST in a very long time. And as some of you remember, there's actually a video from about three years ago. That's about uh, three years ago. Yeah, it, it was. Yeah. It was about uh, this time, three years ago in the fall, shortly after we got down with a lot of the major modifications to the first go around on, on my Fiesta ST. And I wanted to get his input of how the car compared to the Fiesta Movement car, which was completely stock. Um, so, since the time that Brandon has uh, first driven the, uh, the Fiesta ST, I've done a lot of things to it. Uh, we have the Montoon suspension, the Montoon sp Sport Springs have been installed. We got rid of the Yokohama tires and installed some Michelin uh, Pilot Super Sports. Uh, we got a Montoon um, intercooler, and we have the, uh, the Montoon splitter, which, guess what? Um, we're not going to go nearly fast enough to make that thing remotely capable of doing anything different to the front of the car. So, uh, we've made a couple enhancements to the car that Brandon can actually uh, feel. We also uh, repositioned the, uh, the gas pedal uh, for easier heel and toe down shifting. It's got a uh, FS Works uh, short throw shifter and the, uh, the FS Works uh, cat back exhaust. So, quite a few uh, things that are different now than uh, were on the car originally. So. Uh, we're gonna get out on our, our little make-believe test track here and um, kind of see what Brandon thinks of, um, of driving the ST. Now you still have your Fiesta too, right Brandon? Yeah, I still have my one liter. And uh, How many miles you got on that right now? Uh, 87,000 miles. 87,000, which is 87, impressive 000, because yep. you bought that car uh, months after I bought this one and I have yep. what, 34,000? Yeah, I bought it uh, Thanksgiving uh, 2014. Yep is when I bought it, so it's not quite three years old yet, uh, and 87,000 miles on it, and it is still just an absolute You didn't have that car when you first drove this, uh, so we've done a number of modifications to that car as well. You have some mount tune parts on that, uh, but it's nowhere near the, the performance level that, um, that this car is. No, no, I absolutely love my one liter, but it is no ST, that is for sure. Some would say it's a poor man's ST, and I actually say uh, it does a really good job at that. It, we put ST, we put the springs uh, off this car on, on that one. It's got ST uh, wheels and tires on it. Um, and then it's, of course, the Mount Tune shifter, Mount Tune intake. And, um, so yeah, it's a it's a very fun uh, one liter that we put together. Oh, it's an absolute blast to drive, but it's still one liter. It's no ST. Right. So here we are, I'm driving the ST. Um, behind a moped. Behind a moped. Going really. No, this is funny because when, when uh, we were in the uh, the Focus RS not that long ago with uh, with with Chad driving the press car, um, what happened? We got out on the road and we're ready to film and we get stuck behind a like Toyota Camry or something going like 20 under the limit. And I, I don't, now I don't even think the moped can get up to speed because of the. Uh, yeah. Uh, so all right. uh, this is a problem when you don't have an official test track. Uh, how's your intercooler doing on your one liter? Uh, not quite that good. <laughs> no, 
no. Uh, stuck in uh, traffic on these 90, 100 degree days, uh, intake temp is around 130 to 140 degrees. So that's um, scary. Yeah, that's warm. <laughs> that's really warm. Not like we traditionally get at this time of the year. So I know you have the uh, the SD springs on your car. I do. And you have uh, uh, 17 inch wheels tires on the car. Yep. yep. Um, how much difference do you feel when we went through a little bit of uh, twisty turns there? Uh, how much difference do you feel between the ST with the Mountain Springs, Michelin Pilot Super Sports, and what you do uh, with your one liter? So it's definitely stiffer. Uh, it's a little bit stiffer. Uh, you can tell that the um, springs and dampeners are a much higher level than what's on my one liter, even though I do have the ST springs, but I have the factory dampeners on it. Yeah, so you it's a little kinda, under Yeah, so it's a little under, but you, you can definitely tell. And you have almost 90,000 miles. And I do have 90,000 miles on it, so they're starting to wear a little bit. Um, so the tires, super grippy. Uh, the tires on my car also super grippy. Yeah, they're probably pretty comparable. Uh, very comparable. But for the street, you really you, can't explore the yeah. limits of, uh, of either car. But just in these uh, these S's through here, you can definitely tell that the car's a little bit stiffer. More planted. Um, yeah, the brakes feel incredible. Um, yeah, and these have this. Oh, sure. that's right. This has the uh, the Hawk um, 5.0 pads on it, um, which are. I don't know, one of the best pads I've ever used. This is your first time driving with the Hawk pads. Yeah, I like the feel. Um, my car needs uh, brakes soon, and I'll probably be going with the similar yeah. setup for my car. I would recommend the Hawk pads to anybody looking for a, uh, a real performance pad that you can use on the street. Actually, let me rephrase that. It's a street performance pad, not a performance pad for the street. Yes. Um, I'm sure you can take it to the track and autocross, but 90% of the time, we're not on the track or autocross, we're driving back and forth to work. And I think that's where these hawk pads really shine. And you got you were able to brake pretty good back there. Yeah, and pedal feel, feels good. Brakes feel solid. Yeah. Um, it's just really, really in the power. It's just like you just like, oh, I'm just gonna dip into it, and all of a sudden like boost comes on, and away yeah, we go. Was, uh, a little over 20 pounds of, uh, of boost just right there. So. Yeah, yeah, that feels incredible. Overall, um, you happy with the improvements I made since the first time you drove it? I know it's been three years, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I think. yeah. The well, car, the car is just—it's an awesome car. The ST is a fantastic car to begin with, and then to be able to do these modifications, it just takes the car to the next level, and that is just incredible. The car just feels super solid. Yeah. So in the end, we actually have the Montune B2 FB2 kit uh, on the car right now. Um, we just bought it in, in separate individual pieces rather than all together at once. Um, so if you're interested in basically mimicking the same level of performance, you can easily get that through a kit through Montune, add the Montune springs to it. And as you find out, you really don't need a lot on the um, performance-wise on the no. GSSC to turn it into a monster. So, well, I'm glad you had an opportunity to come out yeah. and, and drive the car. You look like you are definitely enjoying <laughs> some time behind the uh, the driver's seat here. Um, yeah. I'm finding it very interesting in the passenger seat. The car feels uh, much faster from the passenger seat than it is from the yeah, driver's seat. Yeah, always does. I'm always so used to driving it on, on that side. So, overall, thumbs up? Thumbs up, that's anything, for sure. Anything you would do different if this was your car? No. Really? Okay, maybe tint the windows, but that's just personal preference. You'd probably put a sub in the back. It, it, it has a good enough sound system. That's good. I, I would lose too much trunk space to yeah, all my tools right. around. All right, that's right. So you actually have to use your car for work, right? I use mine just do. to get to work. So, all right. Well, Brandon, I appreciate it again taking the time to come out and um, to drive the Fiesta ST. Uh, let's try not to make it another three years before you yeah, do it again. Okay. However, I'm running out of stuff to do to it. So if we wait three more years, I probably won't have all that much right. done to it. So, all right. Well, thanks again. Uh, of course, if you guys can uh, leave any comments or uh, questions in the uh, comment section below. Um, BRGT350 on YouTube if you want to subscribe. We have a lot more content, of course, coming your way. And uh, we're going to go ahead and run this thing back to the garage. And uh, I think we got another car to go out and, uh, and play with. So we'll catch you guys later.